more interest in our concern with ideas and processes immediate to us are often what stimulate our curiosity about similar things in the past. We look for beginnings, for connecting threads, for parallels, and derive pleasure and profit from finding them. This collection of antique calculators shows such beginnings, and it suggests much about mathematicians and the place of mathematics in society. It tells something of the degree to which the development of mathematics is affected by the marketplace, conditioned by scientific tendencies of the time, or limited by the availability of tools. The collection illustrates something of the elusive relationship between priorities of need, the state of the engineers and toolmakers arts, and the next step taken. Recently, IBM has put together a collection of artifacts, ideas, events, and memorabilia belonging to the six decades that led up to 1950 and the electronic computer. In 1890, when this particular history starts, Herman Hollerith had just developed the electric punch card tabulator to meet a particular crisis. The national census was being threatened by the rising complications of interpreting the census data. At the same time, a comparable backlog of unprocessed quantitative information was building up in other fields, social studies, scientific research, and in the world of business. The rapid succession of glimpses that follows, sampling of images decade by decade, 1890 up to 1950, may help to suggest how immediate and often personal were the separate forces and diverse contributions that together made the electronic computer a reality.
By 1950, the computer had appeared in essentially its present form. But even those closest to it underestimated what would follow. The computer's spectacular growth in numbers, in capability, in application, came as one of the great surprises of modern times. The vacuum tube gave way to the transistor, then to the more sophisticated techniques of solid state physics. As size diminished, speed and reliability increased and capacity expanded. The variety of demands on the computer began to multiply. It was asked to be not only calculator and analyzer, but information storage and retrieval device, instrument of communication, and interlocutor. It was pressed to develop new languages, symbolic and visual, which themselves would elicit new insights. But still, this unforeseen expansion was the direct result of an accumulation of new and changing needs. The direction of the computer's development has been determined from its beginnings by the combined influences of many people working on widely different problems in many fields. The quantity and variety of tasks to which the computer is put continue to grow. The specific demands of these tasks are still what shape the development of the information processing and problem solving art. An art that grows out of our involvement in the business of life itself. <laughs>